Welcome to Story Vocab. Pinocchio. A long time ago, in a small town, there lived an old toy maker named Geppetto. He used to make wooden toys and sell them. One day, he decided to create a beautiful puppet boy. Geppetto searched for a fine log in the forest and soon found a small pine log. He started to carve. Geppetto finally finished the beautiful puppet boy. He made him sit on a chair and started to clean up. He heard a strange voice. He saw the puppet dancing and talking. Geppetto took the puppet in his arm and named him Pinocchio. Geppetto and Pinocchio started to have happy times together. It was time for Pinocchio to go to school. But Geppetto didn't have money to buy Pinocchio his school stationery. So he sold his old coat and gave the money to Pinocchio. He took the money and went to school with joy. Suddenly he saw a crowd ahead. He slowly managed to make his way to the front to find what it was. He saw a big colorful tent. It was a circus tent. Pinocchio gave money to the clown and entered the circus. The circus owner saw him dancing in the crowd. He got hold of him and locked him in a cage. Pinocchio started to cry regretting his mistakes. Suddenly a fairy appeared and released him from the cage. She gave back his money and warned him not to do the same mistake again. Pinocchio was on his way to school again. Seeing Pinocchio with the money, the cunning fox and his friend cat stopped him and asked him where he was going. Pinocchio said he was going to buy some school stationery. The fox said this money is not enough to buy it. Give your money, let's plant it in the magical garden and get more money. Poor Pinocchio gave his money to the fox. The fox and the cat left the place. He was standing alone for a long time. The fairy appeared and asked Pinocchio about the money. Pinocchio said, I kept my stationeries at school. As soon as Pinocchio finished his sentence, his nose started to grow. The fairy asked him, Are you saying the truth? As Pinocchio kept lying, his nose started growing. Finally, Pinocchio realized his mistake and told what happened. As fairy told the truth, the fairy brought his nose back to normal. She said, I am forgiving you because you told the truth and gave back his money the fox had taken. She once more warned him not to waste his money. Pinocchio started to walk. On the way, he saw the circus owner. He was very angry with Pinocchio. He wanted to punish him. He caught Pinocchio and threw him into the sea. Pinocchio started to swim towards the shore. Suddenly, he was swallowed by a giant whale. Geppetto was worried about Pinocchio and went out to search for him. He heard from the fisherman that Pinocchio fell into the sea. He was so worried. He borrowed a small boat from the fisherman and went into the sea. In the middle of the sea, a big wave hit the boat and Geppetto fell in the sea. He was old and Geppetto did not know how to swim. He drowned. At that very moment, the big whale that swallowed Pinocchio swallowed Geppetto too. He went straight into its stomach. He saw Pinocchio crying there. Pinocchio hugged Geppetto in tears. He said sorry for not obeying him. 
Suddenly, the fairy appeared and rescued them. After that, Pinocchio became a very clever boy and always listened to his father. He went to school every day and after school he ran home to help his father in his workshop. The fairy saw what a nice boy Pinocchio became and decided to give him a prize. The fairy cast a spell and turned Pinocchio into a normal boy. Seeing Pinocchio as a real boy made Geppetto very happy. Pinocchio never lied again and his nose always stayed where it was. Vocabulary. Now, let us look into the meaning of the words that we have come across in the story. Toy maker, a maker of toys. Log, a part of the trunk or a large branch of a tree that has fallen or been cut off. Carve, cut a hard material in order to produce an object design or inscription. Puppet, a small scale figure as of a person or animal, usually with a cloth body and hollow head that fits over and is moved by the hand. Workshop, a place where goods were manufactured or repaired. Strange, unusual or surprising. Stationery, writing or other office materials. Crowd, a large number of person. Released, set free. Want, to give notice. Cunning, foxy. Realize, to understand or become aware of. Punish, a work done by a person in order to make him or her realize their mistake. Swallowed, cause or allow something especially food or drink to pass down the throat. Giant, a person of Great size and strength. Drowned to cause to die by being unable to breathe underwater. Obeying, listen or do something told by someone. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe.